Okay, everybody, thank you for watching this first episode of Chrono Trigger. Um, I'm going to try to play this game almost all the way through. If I can play it all the way through, I'll record as much as I can of it. Um, but how many of you out there, when you first hear this game, you not even looking at you know what game's being played? But I mean, my friend spent many, 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 many hours playing this game. We did learn quite a few little of the uh, parts to it, like the multiple endings, which was one of the great things about this game. Oh, great. The ringing bells. The bells! The bells! But this game was very revolutionary for its time. It's actually a great story. All the normal stuff about it. It was just stellar. Although the sequels they did for them, I don't think were all that good. Chrono Cross, I never played it, but I've seen it. It, it doesn't look like it has the same feel to me. But anyway. There you go, he finally gets up. Stretches, does his little jersey fist pump. And... <laughs> it's funny, the mother can't even remember all his friends' names. And he doesn't really have that many. But... Just trying to think of... What I was doing when I first played this game. No, I don't know how it was. Probably this was in '95, so I was still in high school. I was a junior in high school when this came out. <laughs> oh, I remember all the magic of the Nintendo blowing into the cartridge. Always made it run. No, I don't want to buy a sword yet. I don't have enough points for it. That's another thing, the point system they did in the fair where you had to do the little mini games, which I might do a se I might do a couple things for the like separate video for the mini games. And there you are. You had to get close to her to click her. And then you'd hit her. It's kind of funny, a girl, a girl like that knocking him on his ass that long. <laughs> that is hilarious. And let's see, yes, I'll give you it back. What a true gentleman! <laughs> That is hilarious sometimes. Yeah, your name's Marley. You almost forgot your own name. Okay, time to walk around and see if we can find something to do until they yell that Luca's invention is ready to play with. Wonder if the Tin Man's up. Oh, wait, there's a cat. We'll take the cat back over to the little girl. And so now we're going to take the cat back to the little girl so we get another check in the good column. This is another part of the game I found kind of interesting. One, the cat takes a Damn long to follow you. So, in all your times of playing this game, everybody, what was your favorite part of playing Chrono Trigger? Uh, leave a comment down below in the under bar, if you can remember that. Did you ever play the game high? I never did. Luke is training a little bit. This is the one way to make some money in this game quickly in the beginning. To buy that sword. 
But the funny thing is how it attacks. Just watch this. So they named it Gato. That means cat. Yeah, it kind of looks like one. It's in a twisted, demented way. I always thought this thing was funny on how it attacks. You hit it, it hits her sometimes. Or it beats you like a red-headed stepchild. But if she hits it, it turns back and hits you. How fair is that? But the nice trick about this, if you let it walk away, it can't hit either of you because it's too far to counterattack. Yay, we won! The other question is, where does she hide that crossbow? Leave your answer in the underbar. This should be entertaining in itself. Now we have to listen to him sing again. I bet this commentary would be a lot better if I had somebody else here sitting with me doing this. Running back, running back. Never eat the pink bag. Don't know what's in it. Don't really want to know what's in it. Really? Yeah, it's too bad I'm not doing what he, like selling what he wants. Finally! Luke is all set up. So, let's go see Luca and their new machine. Oh, this is the most boring part of the game. Having to sit here for a few minutes so she can grab candy. 